in Islam, we have a lot of evidences covering this. And I will not go into it because it requires a lot of time. I'll just give you bullet points and only signals and indicators to it. And inshallah, you know it. I have done the last weekend a course on a quest for love that dealt with how to choose your spouse and the required characteristics in them. So, first of all, as a man, you requested and instructed to choose a woman who has good characteristics, such as she has to be pious, righteous, God-fearing, religious. And this is the most important characteristic in your future wife. Whether she's beautiful, wealthy, or coming from a good family, this is beside the point. The most important thing is that she is practicing. And by practicing, we don't mean that she's wearing the niqab and the gloves. A lot of the Muslims think that this is to practice Islam. And so many who wear the niqab and wear the gloves do not pray on time, do not observe their fast. They are bad in character. So you have to look at a holistic and look at it in a holistic way as to whom is practicing and who is not. She has to have her modesty and chastity because the Prophet told us والسلام, that among the women of hell are those who do not. So if you marry someone and she shows her flesh, exposes herself, or she is indecent, then this would not make a good family. She has to be satisfied with whatever Allah gives her. And the most, most of the men here are saying, well, we got that wrong for sure. Because unfortunately, a lot of the women have this in them. They lack this feature of satisfaction and content. And this is why in the authentic hadith, when Ibrahim, peace be upon him, came to visit his son, Ismail, peace be upon him, and he was married and he did not see him since he was like 14, 15 years old. He did not find him and he found his wife. So he asked her, how is life? And she said, life is horrible. Food is scarce. We don't have water. My husband is out all the time. So he told her, when your husband comes, gives him, give him my regards and tell him your father says, change your doorstep. So when Ismail came and she told him, and he told her that this was my father and he's telling me to divorce you, go to your family. The worst wife one can have is the one who's unappreciative, never satisfied, never content. And then when he married again and Ibrahim visited him years later, the second wife did not complain. On the contrary, complimented everything she had. And Ibrahim said, give him my regards and tell him, tell him to preserve and to keep his doorsteps. And when he came back, Ismail, and she told him, he told her, this was my father. It is extremely important for a Muslim family to have the content, not only for women, but also for men. But this is not our topic. You know, we're addressing the characteristics of the potential misses. Among the characteristics before choosing a wife, the Prophet tells us that the women of Jannah are those who are wadud, walud, aud. Wadud meaning that she's caring and loving. So you have to choose someone who's caring and loving. And I'm not telling you to go online, chat with her, and uh, maybe go Skype so that you know her before marriage. This is haram. So how would I know if she's caring and loving? From her family, from her friends. They tell your mother, they tell your sister that she is kind, she is uh, 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 nice, she does not flare out, and she does not become angry, she doesn't have any 
rage attacks. MashaAllah, okay, this is nice. But to marry someone and end up in fights every single morning and, and evening, this is not advisable. She has to be wudud, caring and loving. Walud, she has to be fertile, able to produce children, because this is the essence of getting married. Sheikh, I can't go on Skype. Okay, how would I know this? She's fertile. We're not married yet. Well, scholars say, look into her family. So if, of course, her mother is fertile. Look at her sisters, her, her aunts, her uh, cousins. If they, mashallah, are a productive family, this means that most likely she would be. And do not get married to someone who does not, as a first wife. Not, it's not forbidden, but it is not recommended. Thirdly, the Prophet ﷺ says that among the characteristics is that she is obedient among the blessings of Allah upon an individual is that he's blessed with a woman who would obey him if he orders her and who would please him if he looks at her. So this is another characteristic. She has to be obedient and the happiest husbands are those with obedient wives. And the brothers are shaking their heads in disapproval. They say, we don't have this, Sheikh. What are you talking about? Are you talking about Huris from Jannah? Let's talk about humans. No, there are. There are sisters. Come on, don't be ungrateful. You have jewels in your houses. I know that. And if I don't say this, I would be beaten by the, the sisters after I finish the talk. No, you have, you do. You do have this in your houses, but you are unappreciative. So the Prophet tells us that among the best women are those whom you look at them, they please you. And this doesn't mean that she has to be shockingly beautiful because this is not the case. Beauty is not an essential thing in marriage. If you marry a beautiful wife, a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, and then you'll get over it. You'll see the real character. But a nice and obedient and, and, and righteous wife would always be pleasant to look at. So when you go home, you won't find your wife with her hair untidy, doing the afro maybe, and with her teeth yellow, with food in it, and with uh, smells of onion and garlic coming out of her, and with her voice coming from the depth of, 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 of her throat saying, how are you, honey? <laughs> this is not the thing you want to have home, a, a righteous practicing Muslimah, and this I know for, for a fact, would always try to look her best when her husband comes. This is my comfort zone. This is my safe haven that I always go to, to relax from whatever is abroad. And this is what I said to the brothers in, 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 in this morning's reminder. When we go in the streets, we find billboards of models, beautiful women smiling. If I go into a shop, the saleswoman is smiling. If I go to the reception of the hotel, the receptionist is smiling. The co-worker, if you are, يعني, uh, may Allah help you, working with, with the opposite sex, they're always smiling and, and mashallah giggling. When once you enter the house, la ilaha illallah. All these smiles are gone down the drain. Subhanallah, why is it? Why is it? It should be the other way around. So this is what you should try to look uh, uh, for. Your wife, the so to be inshallah future wife should honor your family. Pick someone that would honor your family. You have one family, you have one mother, you have one father, but you can marry as many wives as you wish. So if she does not respect and honor them, then try to make the right choice. She has to take care of her ch his children. And the Prophet complimented وسلم, the women of Quraysh being soft hearted to the children and being caring of their husbands. So this is the wife you should look for. And you could tell by asking about her. There are girls that are so caring and loving for children, it's an apparent characteristic in them. 
everybody knows about this. And there are who are negligent and don't like kids and don't like children and ugh, don't clean them. Uh, this is not the right person for you. And she has to take care of his house. You remember, uh, you did Khadija radiallahu anha or not yet? Not here. Okay, Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet ﷺ. What did Jibreel give her the glad, glad tiding? He said to the Prophet ﷺ, Khadija is coming with food and drink. Give her the glad tiding and give her salam from me and tell her that Allah Azza wa Jal has made a house made of pearl, empty pearl shell for her where there is no noise and there is no tiresome. Scholars say, why is it this for Khadija? Because she never ever made the Prophet work, alayhi salatu wasalam. She was his wife, she did all the work. And not only that, she would not make any noise in the house, neither her nor the kids. So whenever the Prophet went into his house, alayhi salatu wasalam, he did not want to leave. And that is why Allah rewarded her with this big pearl made of, of, of a palace with these things in them. So a good woman serves the house. She takes care of the house. The husband does not look at anything that is bad. Everything is tidy and nice. And finally, she, you, when you marry a woman, try your best not to take a jealous one. Because the Prophet ﷺ once was addressed by Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, and said, Oh Prophet of Allah, why don't you marry a woman from Al-Ansar, from Medina? He said they are extremely jealous. And that's why he refrained from marrying from them. And when he married Umm Salama, when he proposed to Umm Salama, may Allah be pleased with her, Umm Salama said, Oh Prophet of Allah, I have a lot of children. And at the same time, I am extremely jealous. What did the Prophet say والسلام, As for your children, they are mine. As for your jealousy, I'll supplicate to Allah and Allah will take it away. So jealousy, extreme jealousy is bad. You don't want to marry someone when you are watching pornography, God forbid, or on the internet or, or, or cyber chat or let's go video or whatever. She says, okay, good night. I'm going to sleep. See you tomorrow. No. This is not a proper wife. You want someone, when you do something haram, she prevents you. When you try to uh, uh, flirt with a co-worker or with a neighbor, or she stops you. The one you do not want is someone, when talking on the phone, she says, who are you talking with? Put it on, on loudspeaker. Swear by Allah, put your hand on your right eye and swear by Allah, it's a man. What kind of jealousy is this? No, this is not jealousy. Therefore, these are some of the characteristics. You say it again, five times. These are some of the characteristics you have to choose in a wife.